Good evening. I'm Cheryl Watson, Director of Columbus Downtown High School, and on behalf of the entire staff at CDHS, welcome to the 2020 Completer Ceremony. Although we are not celebrating this special occasion in person, there are many things to celebrate. In spite of this pandemic, you still completed the requirements to earn a career portfolio from your career tech program. Tonight, we celebrate you for this great accomplishment. Congratulations from the staff and administration at Columbus Downtown High School for your hard work and achievement. We are very proud of you and wish you the very best in the future. Seniors, it is my honor to address the class of 2020 and congratulate each of you on your graduation. Though you're not together with your classmates in the same place to mark this important milestone, I am no less proud of each of you. It does not diminish your achievements individually or collectively. As I pre-record this message today, which is Monday, June 15th, to address the class of 2020, all of us are reeling from a roller coaster of raw emotions. Each of you and your families, our city, our country, and the entire world is still coping with the health and economic impacts of the COVID-19 world pandemic. And our hearts and minds continue to be filled with sadness, anger, frustration, and disgust at yet another brutal act against a member of the African-American community. Columbus City Schools has reaffirmed its commitment to the fight to overcome systemic racism and working for change in our schools and in our community. As superintendent, together with the Board of Education, I am committed to making meaningful, forward-thinking changes that address racism, sexism, and gender and religious-based biases inside and outside of our classrooms. Today, I ask each of you to join me by making your own commitment to be an agent of change. The commitment to change is how you decide to define it. And you should know that your definition of change will, well, change. It is what former First Lady Michelle Obama calls becoming. I believe we need immediate change and we need long-term lasting change. In fact, we must demand both. We cannot stay the same as individuals if we are to transform as a community and as a society. I close with a quote from President Barack Obama as told by Michelle Obama in her book, Becoming. She quotes the president as telling those who join him to address social change from the streets of Chicago to the halls of the White House. Do we settle for the world as it is, or do we work for the world as it should be? My call, my challenge to the class of 2020 is a commitment to the latter. Please celebrate change. Please be the change. Good afternoon. I am Mrs. Leslie Felder, Senior Counselor at the Columbus Downtown High School. I am proud to announce the class of 2020 has earned over $5 million in scholarships and grants. Several of our students have also earned industry credentials and certifications that they can use in the workforce. In addition to earning industry credentials and certifications, a vast majority of our students have earned college credits due to the articulation agreements that the Columbus Downtown High School has with the various colleges and universities in the state of Ohio. At this time, I would like to honor my top five students who have earned the most scholarship and grants, grant monies for college. 
I have Lokis Acharya. He will be attending Denison University. He has earned over $438,000 in scholarships and grants. Second, we have Arun Chetri. He will be attending Denison University and he has earned $382,000 in scholarships and grants. We then have Faith Jolly, who will be attending Columbus State Community College. She has earned $355,000 worth of scholarships and grants. And then we have Naomi Idehan. She will be attending Stony Brook University and she has earned over $343,000 worth of scholarships and grants. And then last but not least, we have Frank Joseph. He will be attending Ohio Dominican University, and he has earned over $242,000 in scholarships and grants. Seniors, I would like to leave you with these words. It's been a very, very interesting senior year. Despite the coronavirus, you have persevered. You have done the work that was required of you. And now you are getting the reward that you are due. Your accomplishments can never, ever be taken away. Congratulations to you on your Career Center Completer Ceremony Day. Thank you, we love you all, and may God bless. Good evening, I am Daphne Durden Willis, Career Center Supervisor. It gives me great pleasure to announce the Columbus Downtown High School Student of the Year. The Student of the Year Award is presented to a graduating senior who best represents service and a spirit to be better. I am happy that I had the opportunity to get to know this individual well during the last two years. I also want to extend congratulations to the family for being a strong support system and for working with Columbus Downtown staff to push this student to their full potential. This individual entered the doors of Columbus Downtown, head bowed, quiet, no eye contact, nervous, and unsure. To give you a background, this individual was a good student, completed assignments, was not disruptive, and earned good grades. Again, the student didn't talk much to administrators, teachers, or peers. But then things began to change. The student approached me one day to quietly discuss a concern. The concern was completing a presentation with a partner in English class, Ms. Strode's junior English class. The presentation involved speaking in front of the class with PowerPoint slides. The student stressed to me that anxiety would not allow this to happen. I kept encouraging the student to prepare for the upcoming presentation by talking to teachers for support, Ms. Strode, Ms. Nash, and Mrs. Griffith. I believe the student became frustrated with all the checks from teachers to complete the assignment. The expectation was in place and the presentation had to be done. Failure was not an option. The presentation was in fact completed and it was determined during the process the student had talent and a sense of humor as well. Once it was discovered the student had a voice, it was time to move to let others hear his voice. He was approached to read the daily announcements by a fellow peer that would be graduating and wanted to be sure she had a replacement the next year. Initially, he was unsure about this responsibility, but he agreed to accept the challenge and began to work with his peer to prepare. He showed up daily to deliver the morning announcements to the student body, and eventually he completed the task solo. He was the senior 
morning announcer. He also assisted with organizing student passes during lunch so that students could go to the library, computer lab, or to see the counseling staff. So a student that entered shy, quiet, head down, without a voice, became the daily voice for Columbus downtown. Let this be a lesson for all of us. We have a voice. Always find a way to advocate and do and be better for yourself and others. We are so proud of this student and the progress that he has made during the last two years. The class of 2020 Student of the Year is senior Alex Roten. Congratulations, Alex. You will receive a gift card in the mail for your accomplishment. Angel Harris serves as the Columbus Executive Director of Dress for Success, a global nonprofit with 150 affiliates in more than 25 countries. Dress for Success, or DFS, extensive network of volunteers allows women to be served with passionate efficiency through a network of support, career development tools, and professional attire. DFS is empowering women to achieve economic independence. Last year, DFS Columbus served more than 1,800 women and has empowered more than 18,000 since opening its doors in 2007. Before joining Dress for Success, Mrs. Harris served as Senior Vice President and Chief Development Officer at United Way of Central Ohio. She led the team that raised $50 million annually to fund investments in community poverty reduction programs. In her role, she built relationships with philanthropists and corporate leaders to create a more vibrant Central Ohio by building pathways out of poverty for those who need help most. Through oversight of the Women's Leadership Council E3 program, Mrs. Harris ensured individual donors were aligned with the program focused on outcomes. That meant most of them, including helping women obtain the skills into that. Helping women obtain the skills and education they needed to earn enough support themselves and their families. Mrs. Harris has a passion for community service and volunteering. She and her husband, Chris, have a blended family with seven children. At this point in time, listen with your ears, but most importantly, open your mind to hear our guest speaker, Mrs. Angel Harris. Hi students. I hope you're all enjoying your days today and you're taking a moment to really enjoy this special time. My name is Angel Harris and I'm the Executive Director of Dress for Success Columbus. I am truly grateful for the opportunity to have a partnership with the Columbus Downtown High School and that relationship has been fostered so well with Ms. Cooper. I appreciate her commitment to young women in our partnership. I appreciate the support and guidance from your principal, Ms. Watson, and grateful for the passion and energy of Mr. Moreland. Together with Ms. Dina, over the last nine months, we have worked together very close, along with two of your amazing colleagues, Jalisa and Jaden, to launch a phenomenal program for young women 16 to 18 called Boss Girl. We have more than 100 young women who are certified bosses now, and we're grateful to you for helping make the difference for so many young women for years to come. Now, I usually get stuck as the speaker standing between the crowd and lunch, so I thank you, Ms. Watson and Zoom for not having me hold everyone up and having everyone hangry and mad at me. So thank you so much for allowing me to do this over Zoom. Today, I want to share a few minutes with you about the hurry of life. Our lives are moving at an incomprehensible fast speed. And now that you're moving to your next step, it will move even faster. If you can believe it, I remember when I had my high school graduation from East High School in 1994. And while that doesn't feel like yesterday, it does like last week. <laughs> 
And I want to share with you something that I would have liked to share with my 18 year old self. And that is enjoy the journey. I remember when I finished my last class, when I got my second college degree, I was getting my bachelor of science from Franklin University. I was a single mom working full time and going to school full time. That I remember like it was yesterday. <laughs> I walked down the stairs and out the door of the building and I sat in my car. I was so excited. No more classes, no more assignments, no more group projects or peaking my grades, trying to see the results of all the effort that I had put in that semester before I could fully open my eyes and embrace my report card. I sat in the car and I exhaled. I mean, a really deep exhale. And I thought, I'm done. And I was waxing philosophical, trying to grab a moment that touched me with a past colleague, another student, a professor during my college career. And I couldn't remember one special moment. In my hurried state, I was always focused on my goal. In my hurried state, I rushed through course after course, clocking credit after credit, and trying to climb the corporate ladder at the same time. I focused on hearing the lessons and getting my assignments done, but I did that to my detriment without always lifting up my head to see the lessons that were being taught around me. Now, I met my goal. I graduated among the first women who received a degree in information technology and information systems from that institution. I made it to the destination, but I missed the journey. On your journey, come into the room, observing what is going on around you and get ready to lend your voice. Build relationships and contacts with people from all over the world. Start conversations with people who have views that are different from your own, not to change theirs, but to begin understanding empathy by understanding different perspectives. Have a global view with the lens on transformation and how you can change the world. There's never been a generation more equipped to do that than you. Right now, you are in the generation that participated in the largest civil rights movement in world history. You are. You are the generation that has more opportunities available for new and successful careers beyond any other generation. Some that require a college education and many that don't. You take in what is around you so that when it's your chance to speak, you push out all the knowledge and intelligence that you harnessed in your lifetime. When I was your age, I was focused on the goal, but I missed the journey. Don't you miss the journey. Get your goals squarely in front of you so you always have your GPS set to your destination. But on the ride to success, take a window seat. Stay focused on your destination, but enjoy the view along the way. Congratulations. To the senior class of CTE completers at Fort Hayes Career Center in Columbus Downtown High School. I'm not familiar to you students, since I started in February, and by March, we were under the stay-at-home order. My name is Celeste Lewis, and I am the new Director of Career and Technical Education for the District. I want to commend all of you on your fantastic job and congratulations on your accomplishments while being in CTE programs. This has been a tough second half of your journey as seniors in Career and Technical Education. The CTE office appreciates you and your teacher's perseverance during this extraordinary time. The integrity shown by this graduating class to continue to reach your goals under difficult circumstances will always set you apart in your skills and work ethic. I extend many good wishes for your future plans in your career area. Whether you are going into the workforce or continuing to pursue additional education and training to capitalize on what you have gained while in CTE programs. 
please know that you have added to an important time in history for CTE and the district. Move forward with great pride, motivation, and willingness to pursue your future dreams. We will now present the career portfolios. Students receiving the portfolios have met the requirements under the Ohio Department of Education and Columbus City Schools Career and Technical Education to successfully complete their programs at Columbus Downtown High School. The portfolio is a collection of work documenting a student's skills, abilities, and achievements while at CDHS. Portfolios also capture other aspects of a student's life, such as education and training, volunteer experience, or extracurricular activities. At this time, our staff will now announce the names of the students. Anissa Abdiraman, Jonathasia Bozeman, Samaria Charlotte, Willie Cherry, Taviana Hill, Chantel Israel, Anandria Johnson, Samaje Jones, Frank Joseph, Kiara Moody, Christopher Pendleton, Dalen Ridley, Traquan Robinson, Lorena Sandoval, Arjun Tamaj, Marianne Van Dyke, Ruth Curry, Mariah Jackson Vaughn, Augusta Jenkins, Jasmine Ralston, Maria Summer, Ashante Stewart, Nevea Akins, Yvonne Latla Salisbury, Sharnae Carter, Naya Clark, Kyra Coleman, Jamaica Davis, Griselda De La Rosa Sadevar, Alexis Flores Martin, Donna Galicia, Ayana Gore Prentice, Mackenzie Hicks, Diana Hudson Perry, Courtney Ivory, Jaden Johnson, Faith Jolly, Kaniya Jones, Selena Lynch, Jennifer Matu Goldemaz, Nayeli Meza Sanchez, Jerusalem Manali, Carrie Morales Ibarra, Alia Nybarger, Michaela Knoll, Malika Pickens, Tija Sanders. Eleni Sivian, Kayla Smith, 
Kayla Smith, Ziana Spencer, Brian Triplett, Valerie Valida, Simone Wagner. Kalia Wallace, Maria Watson, Kamari Yarbrough Day, Brashad Anderson, Tanija Blair, Brannon Brodnax. Alexis Carter, Lucine Davis, Sarah Donker, Diana Duran, Ogenique Estridge, Lacey Hill. Brooklyn Jeter, Dulce Lucio Marquez, Cheyenne Malakam, Fatuma Mohammed, Kendrell Montgomery, Lakia Montgomery. Gabrielle O'Brien, Christopher Pedersen, Malachi Rash, Michael Rayford, Seth Richard, Gabriel Ross. Kamal Sar, Andre Smith, Jocelyn Smith, Isaiah Stinnett, Kaylin Talaferro, Sakima Walker. Lizbeth Adams Guzman, Ikran Ali, India Esters, Olivia Gamble, Martea Gunnell, Jayla Hall. Americus Jones, India Morer, Rachel Neal, Alexis Reeves, Kanai Sheridan, Taylor Varner. Ebony Walker, Pradeep Bassnet, Joshua Burgett, Titus Carter, Teague Henderson, Thomas Lyles. Kishan Margai, Jaleel Nichols, Eben Okansi, Blaze Savely, Rand Simpson, Tyler Wilson. Ahmed Abdi, 
Lokesh Acharya, Gilbert Ansu, Jose Antonio Urena, Gideon Antwi, Dominic Brown, Lorne Clark, Nishan Durali, Mayo Fabregas, Jalen Hale, Caleb Hardy, Kevin Hume, Ethan Matthias, Isaac Mohammed, Anthony Murphy, Lionel Najera, Eugene Ofosu, Christian Pacheco Mira, Marcelo Pina, Suman Ray, Brahim Rustam, Michael Torto, Ronald Chaz Vilbar, Michaela Barry Ross, Serenity Clark, Catherine Haslett, Savannah Roel, Anise Suell, Leticia Travis, Tony Wade, Kyrie Cummings, Muse Demise, Maurice Lemons, Fu Nguyen, Diallo Peterson, Tafik Saran, Jaden Spears, Clifton Walls, Aaron Wickham, Quabina Woods Laws, Umesh Acharya, Muhammad Akbar, Kweku Asamoah, Arnold Bangudi, Arun Chetri, Brandon Clark, Jacorius Harvey, Azariah Hill, Cody Kelly, Rocket Kamanavong, Alex Roten, Pravin Tamang, Ryan Vogelgesang, Charlie Whitfield, Roderick Whitman, Issa Ali. Brittany Bolin, Malachi Cole, Mauricia Cooper, Ahmed Dabu, Adam Duhig, 
Cammy Eckert, Brittany Fortner, Ladarius Gunn, Christian Hasty, Quincy Henderson, Naomi Edahin, Kishana Irons, Lalette Mangar, Krista Needles, Evan Newsom, Maximus Swank, Marquita Thomas, Tyler Vanover, Chelsea Vieda, Kaylee Vielda, Tyron Washington, Baron White, Danisha Woods. My name is Maurice Lemons. I'm a senior in the manufacturing program. I'm also a member of the Columbus Downtown High School National Technical Honor Society. We all made the commitment and decision to leave our high schools to learn more about our career path. While on the journey of learning about our career path, we were told from the first day at Columbus Downtown High School to take pride in following our school wide expectations. You know them, repeat after me. Attitude, appearance, academics, awareness, and attendance. Class of 2020, this is a time in history we will never forget. COVID-19 has impacted our community, city, state, and the world. We will never be the same, but we will be resilient. We will grow. We will be stronger. We will forge ahead to our future. Today, we are being celebrated for our hard work and dedication in completing our chosen career technology program. Here's a quote that I want you to remember. Instruction ends in the schoolroom, but education ends only with life. Frederick W. Roberson. Columbus Downtown Class of 2020, congratulations and best wishes to you.